Hi everyone, Josh here, and we're gonna tackle a pretty basic question today, and that's how do I check my CPU temp in Windows 10? I've seen a few other videos tackling this question, and frankly, I think they beat around the bush a little bit on the simplest solution. So today, I'm gonna to provide you two solutions. One is the quick and easy method that's gonna give you 95% of what you need. The second option will give you a few more options to play with if you wanna do more serious tracking of your CPU temp, and if you stick around to the end, I'll show you how you can even look at your CPU temperature in your taskbar so that you can monitor it without having to look at another program all the time. This quick guide is gonna be for anyone that needs to see their CPU temperature because they're worried about their computer or laptop overheating. Maybe you're doing some overclocking and need a reliable way to monitor your CPU temperatures or for whatever other reason. I'm not gonna go into it in this video. Let's get started with the how-to. The real issue with trying to find your CPU temperature in Windows 10 is that there's no native way to do it. The best you can do is open up the taskbar and look at the performance view and it'll give you some good details about your CPU such as the clock speed, but it's not going to give you any information about the temperature. So we're going to have to download a couple of third-party programs to get the information that we need. My favorite program is also the easiest one to use, so we'll look at that one first. It's called HW Monitor, Hardware Monitor, and it's made by CPUID. So what you'll do is go into Google and search for CPUID HW Monitor, and the first link you see will be the one that you want to click on. This will take you to a quick download page. This company has been around forever. This program has been around forever. It's safe, and there shouldn't be any issue loading this program on your computer. Navigate down to either the setup or the zip file version. Easiest way is just to click the setup. Once you get to the second page, click the download now, and it'll download onto your computer. Go ahead and open up the program and you'll see this. Now this is gonna look a little complicated at first, but don't worry, we don't really need a lot of this information. What we're looking for is the CPU temperature. So we're gonna scroll down a few sections and look for our CPU. Now, most computers on the market today are gonna have a processor made by either AMD or Intel. If you don't know the specific model number of your particular processor, don't worry, all you need to know is if it's made by AMD or Intel. If you know that, you can scroll down until you see one of those companies here. In my case, I have an AMD processor, the Ryzen 9 3950X, and I can see that listed here in this section. Now that we've made it to the CPU section, there's still a lot of information that we don't need. So let's look at the voltages line and go ahead and minimize that because we don't need it. The powers we can minimize as well, the utilization we can minimize, and even the clocks we can minimize. This leaves us with simply temperatures. Now, this may look a little different on your end, depending on the type of processor you have, and in particular, the AMD Ryzen series has an issue where it doesn't show the individual core temperatures. Instead, you see simply the package or node zero temperature. If you have an Intel CPU, you may see this package temperature along with individual core temperatures for each one of the processing cores within your CPU. Under most circumstances, simply looking at the package temp is enough because that's going to give you the average temperature of your CPU and it's going to give you a great indication of how hot or how cool your processor is running at any given moment. Now by default, hardware monitor will show you the temperature in Celsius, but it's also gonna give you the degrees in Fahrenheit as well for those of us who aren't using the metric system. The default setting shows the value, min, and max temperature of your processor. The value is the current temperature right now. Minimum is the lowest temperature it's recorded since you open the program, and max is the highest temperature it's recorded since you open the program. You can clear these numbers if you go into the view setting and hit clear min max. This will reset the data and it'll reset your min max so that you can look at it under different circumstances. For 95% of people out there, this is probably all you need. You'll be able to see either the average temperature of your CPU and or the individual core temperatures in your CPU. If you'd like something with a little bit more settings to choose from and ways to look at the data, I'm gonna recommend one more piece of third-party software that will give you these options and also give you the option to easily monitor your CPU temperature in your taskbar. Are you enjoying the video so far? Did the first solution help you? Go ahead and drop a like on the video and let us know in the comments section if it helped you out. Otherwise, stick around for the second option. The second piece of software is called HW Info, Hardware Info. To find it, simply Google HW Info and it'll be the first link that you see. Go ahead and click the link for the free download. And what we're looking for is the installer. Go ahead and click on the free download under the installer. This will download an exe file. Go ahead and load up the program. Now, the reason why I listed this as the second option is because this particular program is a little trickier to navigate and it's not as user friendly as the other program that I mentioned before. But it does have a couple of useful features that the other program does not. 
one of which I'm gonna show you now so that you can monitor your CPU temperature on your taskbar without having to go back and forth to this program. To get started, let's go up to this shorter window up here and click on Sensors. Give it a second to load and it'll open up a new window with a lot more data. But again, we don't need all of this data, so we're gonna sift through what we actually need to look for before we proceed. So from here, you wanna scroll down until you see a few thermometers on the left-hand side. That's gonna indicate that these are temperatures. You'll see here that it has the same AMD Ryzen 9 3950X CPU that we looked at in the other piece of software. Now underneath, we have a few more pieces of information. We have the CPU, the CPU die, the CPU CCD1, CPU CCD2, and each of these will have its own temperature. Same thing as before, we can simply look at the overall CPU temperature to get an average of all of our cores. If you have an Intel processor or a different type of AMD processor, you may also see the individual cores in this list as well. Now, the trick I mentioned before to track your CPU temp on your taskbar is super easy in this screen. All you do is right click on the particular temperature that you wanna track and then select add to tray. If you'd like to change the color, you're welcome to do that. If you wanna track a few different pieces of information, you can color code them the way that you would like. If you wanna make sure this program runs every time you restart your computer, you can go back into this main window, go under program, go to settings, and from here, just make sure that you have the auto start checkbox ticked. This will start the program whenever Windows starts, and you have a few other checkboxes you can tick if you'd like to get these programs minimized on startup so that you just see your computer temperature being monitored on the taskbar. Now, I mentioned before that there are a lot of reasons why you might want to check your CPU temp. One of those is if you're worried about your laptop or your desktop computer processor overheating. If the laptop is the issue, I do have another video that I'll link to in a card above that can get you started with diagnosing an overheating laptop and some other things that you can do to reduce that CPU temperature. Otherwise, if you have any other questions, be sure to drop those questions in the comments below and I will be sure to answer them and maybe even make a video about your question in a future time. If you found value in the video, please consider liking it and consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more videos about how to fix common computer issues and basically just how to use your computer a little bit better. Thanks.